So, Madam Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, and Carleton graduates and elders. On the occasion of Joy Harvey McLaren's 80th birthday in 2002, the Glenbow Museum published the book Spirit of Joy, a collection of stories and personal remembrance. In the introduction, the editor writes, Joy McLaren lives life in exclamation points. This seems an apt analogy for someone who greets the new day with enthusiasm for the possibilities it offers and the opportunities it affords to affect positive change in the lives of others. Over a lifetime of service and dedication to others, Joy McLaren has transformed the lives of countless individuals while enabling numerous projects to reach their full potential. She has done this on both the local and national level with grace, humility, determination, encouragement, and a joyful and generous spirit. A passionate advocate for minority rights, she has continually led by example. Born and raised in Calgary, Alberta, Dr. McLaren earned a Bachelor of Science degree from McGill University specializing in nutrition and went on to become a dietitian working at the old Montreal General Hospital during World War II. She met and married Donald McLaren of Ottawa soon after he returned from serving overseas in World War II. Thereafter, they lived in Buckingham, Quebec for 35 years where they raised their three sons, one a graduate of Carleton. Don and Joy later retired to Ottawa. Don was Joy's rock of Gibraltar throughout the 62 years of their marriage, and she was his spark plug. A lifelong commitment to improving the quality of life for both individuals and communities led Joy to become a founding member of several organizations, including the Canadian Guide Dogs for the Blind, the Community Foundation of Ottawa, the Hospice at May Court, and the McClure Center for the Handicapped. In the year 2000, her alma mater awarded her an honorary doctorate to recognize her support for post-secondary education and her many humanitarian efforts. Especially relevant today is Joy McLaren's long-standing relationship with Carleton University. For several years, she was a member of Carleton's Board of Governors, providing wise counsel on a range of academic matters. A more visible presence today is the Joy McLaren Adaptive Technology Center for Students with Disabilities, located in the McCordrum Library. In 1995, in a special Aboriginal naming ceremony at Carleton, Joy was given the traditional name New Sun by elders from the Blackfoot, Ojibwe, and Mohawk First Nations to honor her commitment to promoting Aboriginal culture and post-secondary education across Canada. At that time, she was presented with the stunning blue shawl that Dr. McLaren is wearing today. In the years since, numerous students, faculty, and research programs have been recipients of New Sun bursaries, scholarships, and funding. I count myself among those fortunate beneficiaries of New Sun's generosity and vision. Since 2001, I've had the privilege of holding the New Sun Chair in Aboriginal Art and Culture at Carleton and the further privilege of hosting the annual New Sun Conference on Aboriginal Arts, which just celebrated its 10th anniversary, and which has inspired other institutions to mount their own New Sun events, including the Blue Quills First Nations College in Alberta and the University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon. In 2005, Dr. McLaren received the Founders Award, Carleton's highest non-academic honor. And as many of you already know, Less than two weeks ago, in a ceremony at Rideau Hall, officiated by His Excellency David Johnston, the Governor General of Canada, Joy Harvey McLaren was made a member of the Order of Canada. Uh, Vice Chancellor. <laughs> Madam Vice Chancellor, honored guests and elders, in a spirit of much joy and celebration on a day marked by many points of ex exclamation, I present to you Joy Harvey McLaren for the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa in recognition of outstanding contributions to Carleton University, the advancement of minority rights, and support of Aboriginal and Inuit culture and education.
to award this degree by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Faculty Senate and the Board, it is my privilege and honor to present to you, Dr. McLaren, the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Thank you very much, but I do, I think it, it's the student's day today, and, and uh, I'm thrilled to be here to cheer you on, and uh, I'd like to say three things. Carlton has three C's, and I'd like you to go ahead, still with curiosity, what lies ahead of you, and then another C, courage tackle those problems and not fall on your face and get up again. And I think the most important thing of all is compassion. And stop at times when you see somebody's having a little trouble or reach out and touch them. Touch means a lot. And anyway, that's what I'd like to leave you with. Carlton's three C's. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Joe. In keeping with the Aboriginal tradition of giving a gift of equal value in return for a gift received, Dr. McLaren is generously gifting Carleton University with her new son, Shawl. <clears throat> At this time, I would also like to acknowledge the two creators of the shawl who are with us here today, <clears throat> I believe, uh, Dr. Madeline Dion Stout, former director of Carleton Center for Aboriginal Education, Research and Culture, and West Wind Evening. The central motif on the shawl is the head of an eagle within a brilliant sun fashioned from thousands of gold and copper sequins. The sun's rays curve from left to right from the old sun, a name bestowed upon Dr. McLaren's father, to the new sun. Dr. McLaren is also wearing her environmental dress designed by Edith Newman of Souk, BC, which depicts the diverse features of the Canadian landscape. 